seem to be working. What a difference a year can make. This time last year, it was not even a thought to try something like this, but after the challenging winter we had last year. An unseasonably warm January 2023 forced Lake Geneva's ice castles to shut down after just three days. Creative heads spent nearly a year talking it out. The result, a better way of keeping those ice blocks intact. I think we nailed it. The fest has a new name, winter realms, and a new way of doing things. In the evenings or in the morning before we get open, um, we'll kind of tarp things that we want to make sure are protected from the sun. And Winter Realms is using more snow than ice castles did. The darker white color covering this igloo fell from the sky. And then we have this wider snow, the snow that we made today. Uh, we didn't have any snow on the forecast today, so we had to do what we could. It's working for now with some exceptions. One igloo's roped off, waiting to get more manufactured snow poured on it tomorrow. Another change, a bigger lighted path to enjoy. There are eight igloos now that are wider but shorter than last year's. And inside the castle, it's playtime. Anyone over three feet tall can go down the ice slide. And of course, the biggest, best part is you can race. So we do still have our traditional ice castle features, the slides, the caverns, all of that that people are used to. But then we kind of added like a snow village with these massive igloos. We're standing in one now. This one's eight feet across. A thousand or more people walk through the winter wonderland seven days a week, hoping to make it last through the month of March. What do you think about the weather? We were shocked it was going to be open because it had been so warm lately, but it's kind of nice. Last time we came, it was very bitter cold. So this is a beautiful temperature. Kate Stockwell's son, Roland, seems to like it. He gave it two <laughs> thumbs up. In Lake Geneva, Michelle Fiore, CBS 58 News.